Annyeonghaseyo. Hello and welcome to Camp Humphreys, South Korea. On behalf of the United States Army Garrison Humphreys, I'm Captain Kai Felbaum, and for the next few minutes, I'd like to share what the Army has in store for you during a tour of duty here at Camp Humphreys. You'll learn why Korea is an outstanding assignment for soldiers, civilians, and their family members, and a great place to live, work, and play. You'll also get a taste of Korean culture and a tour of some of the most modern facilities the Army has to offer anywhere in the world. Whether this is your first assignment to Korea or a return trip, you can look forward to a rewarding tour of duty here in the land of the morning calm. Again, welcome to Camp Humphreys. More when we return. Welcome back. I'm standing in front of the Humphreys Community Fitness Center, and in a few moments, we'll take a look inside to see everything it has to offer. But before we do that, I wanted to tell you a little bit about what it's like to live and serve in Korea. Officially known as the land of the morning calm, Korea is home to U.S. Army Garrison Humphreys, where the Army provides quality installation services and support to the soldiers, civilians, and family members stationed here to ensure the readiness and well-being of our community. Located near the city of Pyeongtaek, and situated about 45 miles south of Korea's capital city of Seoul, Camp Humphreys is home to the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade of the 2nd Infantry Division, the 501st Military Intelligence Brigade, the 194th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion, as well as a wide assortment of strategically vital military units and organizations. For years, Camp Humphreys was known as a small installation where soldiers served in an austere environment far away from home. But with the decision to relocate most of U.S. Forces Korea to areas south of Seoul, Camp Humphreys is rapidly changing and will eventually become one of two enduring military hubs and where the Corcom headquarters will eventually be located. During this period of transformation, garrison officials are working hard to minimize the impact such a large construction and restationing project will have on the community. To be sure, there will be growing pains as support services relocate, expand, and adapt to the increasing garrison population. But you can rest assured, measured steps are being taken to integrate and deliver installation support services for everyone in our community as the garrison expands to become the single largest army installation in Asia. To support current and future community populations, planning and construction are already underway across the installation. While much of the construction is complete, newcomers should expect a significant amount of construction to continue for the coming years. To give you an idea of what's already been accomplished, Let's take a quick tour inside. Completed in 2008, the fitness center stands three stories high, measures 109,512 square feet, and boasts fully equipped weightlifting and workout rooms, multiple basketball courts, a climbing wall for all skill levels, indoor running track, and an Olympic-sized pool. The center is also home to multiple conference rooms and training areas, and is often used to host community events and activities to include the Garrison's annual Holiday Bazaar. Located near the Main Post Fitness Center, community members will find a spacious, newly constructed, all-inclusive community park with a covered picnic and barbecue area. In addition to the community's main fitness center, there are two additional fitness centers strategically located where single and unaccompanied soldiers reside, offering easy access to a full range of fitness equipment and cardio classes. In the coming years, as the garrison population continues to grow, there are plans to build two more fitness centers to ensure the fitness needs of everyone in the community are met. We'll be right back after the break. Stay tuned for more. Today, the Republic of Korea is considered one of the most developed countries in the world. It's a place where visitors can appreciate an ultra-modern lifestyle, explore the countryside, and experience the proud traditions of a rich and vibrant culture. Korea's customs, manners, and folklore are rich and diverse. The country is approximate in size and comparable in latitude to the state of Indiana, and visitors here will find numerous cultural and historical locations to explore. Korea is also home to a wide variety of traditional shopping markets, cultural festivals, amusement parks, and folk villages. One such park, located near the installation, includes an indoor and outdoor amusement park, 
showcasing a variety of family-friendly rides and activities, as well as roller coasters and western-style eateries. During your tour at Camp Humphreys, you will also find many opportunities to take part in free Good Neighbor Cultural Tours, sponsored by the City of Pyeongtaek and other partnership organizations in support of the ROC U.S. Alliance. In Korea, you'll discover a thriving, high-tech nation rich in opportunity and full of unique and exciting things to do. The efficient public transportation system here allows for easy access to a wide variety of entertainment and cultural attractions. From traditional markets to world-renowned museums, Korea has something to offer for everyone. Visitors to Korea can also explore modern-day department stores, malls, and specialty shops. These businesses offer customers the latest in international fashion and goods, priced for just about any budget. During your tour of duty here at Camp Humphreys, you are sure to find exactly what you're looking for at any one of the many shopping destinations found here locally or across the country. Of course, no tour of duty in Korea would be complete without experiencing the local cuisine. Korean food offers an amazing variety of tastes and styles. Korean barbecue, bibimbap, kimchi, bulgogi, and many other local specialties await you. There are literally hundreds of Korean and Western style restaurants found within close proximity to the installation and you could spend your entire tour here and never eat at the same place twice. But if you're looking for a taste of home or just some good old fashioned comfort food, there's no need to worry because an assignment to Korea also means that you'll have easy access to a host of on-post eateries, as well as plenty of the same restaurant franchises and dining options you are familiar with back in the States. To put it simply, if you're looking for a fulfilling and rewarding tour of duty with plenty of room for advancement and opportunity, Korea should be at the top of your list of gotta go there assignments. For soldiers assigned to Korea, your first stop here will likely be the Incheon International Airport via a commercial flight or Osan Air Base via a military charter flight. Whether arriving at Incheon or Osan, all soldiers are then bused to Yongsan Garrison in Seoul for their initial in-processing. From there, soldiers are then transported to their permanent duty stations. Department of the Army civilian employees and their families should coordinate with their assigned sponsor to arrange for transportation from the airport directly to Camp Humphreys. Once here, they should begin in-processing with their local civilian personnel office. Depending on your status, pets may be brought to Korea but there are numerous local Korean laws and regulations that must be followed. Keep in mind, in most cases, the shipment of pets is not authorized for single or unaccompanied soldiers. There are also restrictions on the number, size, and type of pets authorized. Your sponsor should be able to help you connect with veterinary services in order to answer any questions you might have about transporting a pet to Korea. Shipping pets to Korea must generally be done at the owner's expense. It is extremely important to start the process early and ensure all required documentation, tests, and vaccinations are done in order. Pet owners traveling commercially should also check with their specific airline, as rules, regulations, and fees often vary from carrier to carrier. For additional information about shipping a pet to Korea, visit the Camp Humphreys official website, humphreys.korea.army.mil. Incheon International Airport is located about 25 miles west of downtown Seoul and approximately 60 miles from Camp Humphreys. Incheon Airport is also the busiest and most modern passenger terminal in Korea. New arrivals to Incheon will find almost instant access to a variety of airport shops, restaurants, and information outlets, including the U.S. Forces Korea Joint Reception Desk. After landing at Incheon and disembarking the aircraft, follow the signs to the luggage claims area, customs, and immigration. Military personnel will need the following to clear Korean customs and immigration. 1. A copy of your assignment orders. 2. Valid military ID card. 3. Korean arrival card completely filled out. Civilian personnel will need the following to clear Korean customs and immigration. 1. A copy of your assignment orders. 2. Valid passport. 3. Korean arrival card completely filled out. Once at the immigration area, travelers should move to the non-Korean citizen immigration line. Ensure you have already filled out all of the required documentation prior to entering the line. Following immigration, travelers should then continue down the stairs to their baggage carousel and wait to retrieve their luggage. 
Unlike most airports in the U.S., luggage carts are provided here at no cost to the traveler. After collecting their luggage, travelers will then exit the baggage area through a customs checkpoint. From there, all soldiers must proceed to the USFK Joint Reception Desk, where they should check in and await for bus transportation to the First Replacement Company in Processing Center, located on Yongsan Garrison in Seoul. Civilian employees should coordinate with their sponsor prior to their arrival in Korea for transportation directly to Camp Humphreys. Most international flights arrive in the late afternoon or evening, so new arrivals should plan accordingly. If you are arriving on a military chartered aircraft at Osan Air Base, a military representative will escort all passengers to the inbound customs and immigration area. After completing immigration formalities there, you will pick up your bags and go to the customs inspection area. After leaving the customs inspection area, Travelers should check with the on-site Army representative for transportation to the first replacement company in Processing Center on Yongsan Garrison in Seoul. The Army representative will either have transportation waiting for you upon arrival or will arrange it for you once you get there. The key to efficient and relatively stress-free travel is working closely with a sponsor. Soldiers and civilians should establish contact with their sponsors early and maintain contact often. Within the first few days after arriving on Camp Humphreys, you will attend a newcomer's orientation class to learn more about all of the services and support the installation has to offer. Participation in the newcomer's orientation class is required to apply for a USFK driver's license, so it's important you find time to attend the newcomer's orientation within your first few days of arriving here. New personnel may also attend a Korean Head Start program, introducing them to local customs, cuisine, culture, and off-post modes of transportation. Depending on their status, Newly arriving personnel traveling on official orders are housed in temporary quarters or at the Camp Humphreys Army Lodge at government expense. As you begin in processing at your new duty station, there are several things you need to keep in mind. First, for those on orders from the States or other OCONUS locations, the cost of a PCS move is generally included in the package, so you don't have to worry about buying your own plane tickets to get here or to return back home at the end of your tour. That is all paid for at government expense for both you and your eligible family members. There are limits to these authorizations, and in all cases, you should contact your personnel office if you are unsure about your travel and housing authorizations or authorized expenses. Those on official orders to Korea can also take comfort in knowing all household goods will be professionally packed and shipped to Korea or put in storage at government expense. However, there are restrictions for shipping household goods to Korea, so soldiers and civilians should be sure to check with the transportation office to determine their authorized weight allowances. Single soldiers will find spacious quarters fully equipped with appliances and furniture. Soldiers on orders with their family are also authorized a full set of loaner furniture, including tables, chairs, sofas, rugs, lamps, bedroom sets, stoves, refrigerators, washers, and dryers at no cost. Once their household goods have arrived, they can choose to return the government furniture or use it for the duration of their tour. For soldiers and their families coming to Korea, it is recommended you place as much of your personal furniture in non-temporary storage as you can at government expense before getting here. That way, you can take advantage of the furniture and appliances provided by the government. Although ineligible to receive a full issue of loaner furniture, some furniture items and appliances are also made available for civilian employees on official orders to Camp Humphreys. Your sponsor can work with the housing office to determine what, exactly, you are authorized and answer any questions you may have. As a general rule, unaccompanied soldiers are assigned on-post quarters. On-post Army family housing is also available. However, it is assigned on a space available basis and due to limited availability, most military families assigned to Camp Humphreys lift off post in Western style homes or apartments. If government housing is not available, the Garrison Housing Office can help you find a suitable place to live within the local Korean community. For civilian employees, living on post is not an option. Not to worry though, as an ample assortment of American style homes and apartments are available in close proximity to the installation. Soldiers not living in government quarters generally receive an Overseas Housing Allowance, or OHA, which is an allowance authorized for military members with or without dependents to offset the cost of housing. Unaccompanied soldiers are also authorized Basic Allowance for Housing, or BAH, 
for their family back home. Soldiers with dependents here or back in the States are required to recertify their entitlement for BAH upon arrival. Soldiers authorized by PCS orders to move their dependents to Korea may be entitled to receive overseas housing allowance at the with dependent rate. OHA is used to compensate members for the majority of housing expenses incurred while stationed overseas. Allowance rates are periodically updated based on new cost data currency fluctuations. A cost of living allowance is also available for accompanied and unaccompanied soldiers. COLA is designed to help soldiers stationed overseas maintain the same purchasing power they would have in the States. It helps to offset the higher costs of food, transportation, clothing, and other costs associated with living in Korea, along with any fluctuations in the currency exchange rate. Civilian employees on orders to Korea are generally eligible to receive their post allowance, similar to a cost of living allowance, as well as a living quarters allowance both designed to help offset the costs related to living and working overseas. For more information about current allowance rates or authorizations, civilians should contact their sponsor or servicing civilian personnel office. Bottom line, there are many reasons to live and serve in Korea, not the least of which are the numerous pay and allowance benefits you'll receive just by being stationed here. The Camp Humphreys Army Health Clinic provides outpatient primary care services to active duty service members and their families living in the Pyeongtaek area. Patients must be enrolled in the clinic via TRICARE and assigned a primary care provider prior to scheduling appointments. Services include family medicine, pediatrics, physical therapy, behavioral health, occupational health, and optometry. The TRICARE office arranges for specialty referrals to host nation partner hospitals or to the Brian Allgood Community Hospital in Seoul. The clinic nurse case manager coordinates care for inpatients who are admitted to our host nation partner hospitals. The Camp Humphreys Army Health Clinic does not generally provide emergency medical services and patients with real or potential emergencies are encouraged to proceed directly to the closest Korean hospital emergency department. Informational cards with emergency department locations, phone numbers, and assistance numbers are available inside the clinic. On occasion, the clinic is able to provide space available care to retirees and their family members, DA civilian employees, DODS employees, and contractors. Patients in these categories who have chronic medical conditions should establish regular care with a primary care physician and the clinic TRICARE office can help these patients establish care in one of our partnered international clinics. As you begin in-processing, one of your first stops should be Army Community Service, where you will find a variety of useful programs, information, and cultural training opportunities. The ACS on Camp Humphreys also provides community members with newcomer information, a lending closet stocked with a wide variety of household items to borrow while you wait for your household goods to arrive, as well as employment assistance counseling, access to exceptional family member program specialists, and a wide variety of community support services and activities designed specifically to meet your relocation assistance needs. I am Specialist Kareen Medeiros. I am the Area 3 Coordinator and President for a program known as Better Opportunities for Single and Unaccompanied Soldiers, funded by MWR and offers three pillars of service. One being quality of life. I provide services and projects for soldiers to add to their quality of life during their tour of duty here in Korea by getting involved with the Korean community, their military community, and their fellow soldiers. The second pillar of service is community service, which we provide projects by getting involved with other organizations on and off post. And lastly, recreation and leisure being provided by trips such as ski trips, zip lining, ATV riding, whitewater rafting, cultural performances, and so much more. Please, by all means, if you are going to be coming to Korea, stop by the boss office, come and pay me a visit, and we welcome you to Korea. If you have school-aged kids, those on orders to Camp Humphreys can enroll them in the Department of Defense Dependent School System, known as DODS. These schools offer all the same educational opportunities found in stateside schools, as well as after-school activities, field trips, and excursions to museums and off-post cultural sites. 
course, there's no need to worry if your children are not old enough for school. Younger children have access to the Child Development Center, offering both hourly and daily care. These newly constructed and fully equipped, well-managed and safe centers cater to the needs of the smallest members of our community. They have friendly, dedicated staff, modern amenities, and flexible hours to meet your needs. My name is Jared Barrick. I am the CYS Youth Services Director. And here at CYS, we offer a variety of programs for children six weeks um, to 18 years of age. Um, we have three separate identities. The Child Development Center, which runs for children six weeks to kindergarten, offers daycare programs, preschool programs, and pre-kindergarten programs. Our school-age services, for first through fifth graders offers a variety of before school activities and after school activities, as well as a summer camp program and other all day camp adventures when school is out. Here at the Teen Center, we offer programs for children aged sixth grade through 12th grade. We offer a variety of leadership clubs, community service events, and recreation activities for that age group. We also have a youth sports program which offers grades first grade through eighth grade with changing seasons from baseball to track and field to football, all that kind of stuff so the kids are involved in youth sports here at CYS as well. The process for enrolling youth into the CYS program is to visit our parent central office, uh, which is located right across the street from our elementary school. Um, there's a number of paperwork that needs to be filled out, the things to include doctors, physical exams to participate in sports, emergency contact information, such as that. For those children interested in a challenge, the Camp Humphreys community offers youth sports, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, scouting for both boys and girls, and many other recreation programs. Camp Humphreys is also home to the Army's only outdoor aquatics park in Korea. Dubbed the Splish and Splash, visitors to the park have access to an Olympic-sized pool and an assortment of diving boards and several slides and play areas for all ages. Throughout the year, you'll also find numerous festivals, sports tournaments, and recreational activities for both the young and the young at heart. In fact, one of the newest additions to our recreation lineup includes a ladies roller derby program with teams coming together to compete from nearby military installations. For those who like to golf, nearby Osan Air Base is home to the Lakes of Osan Golf Course, featuring 18 holes with a par 71, as well as a full service pro shop, restaurant, driving range, and club storage facility. Getting to Osan Air Base takes about 20 to 30 minutes by car or taxi. Community members also have access to an inexpensive commercial bus service connecting Camp Humphreys to Osan, as well as the other installations on the Korean Peninsula. Speaking of driving by car in Korea, POVs are generally only authorized for unaccompanied E7s or above, as well as those with dependents or civilian employees and their families. In most cases, only one POV is authorized per family. For those without a POV, the Post offers a daily shuttle bus service and commercial taxis are available for transportation both on and off post. In many ways, living in Korea is much like living in the States especially when you consider the fact that soldiers, civilians, and other authorized patrons are given full access to Department of Defense commissaries and exchanges located here at Camp Humphreys and in the surrounding areas, providing their customers all the products they're accustomed to back home at frequently at greatly reduced prices. Also located in the downtown area and within walking distance of the Army Lodge is the Camp Humphreys Commissary. In addition to providing groceries from the U.S., this medium-sized commissary also offers custom photo cakes, fresh sandwiches to go, party supplies, plants, and sushi. In addition to commissary and exchange shopping privileges, you and your family will have access to on-post services including the U.S. Post Office and at the same prices you are accustomed to back in the States. And of course, you and your family can take full advantage of the wide-ranging food and entertainment opportunities provided by the Garrison's Family and Morale, Welfare, and Recreation Division. Welcome to Korea. My name is Therese Chunyus and I'm the Marketing Manager for Family and MWR. MWR has a wide variety of activities for you here at Camp Humphreys, whether it be dining, recreational, or entertainment, we've got a full program ready for you. Outdoor Rec has a variety of trips, tours, and activities. Our Outdoor Recreation Center also provides gear rentals, including camping packages, sleeping bags, tents, snowboard packages, and ski rentals. Another activity visitors to our Outdoor Recreation Center will find is a fully equipped laser tag arena 
perfect for family gatherings, birthday parties, and unit events. Some of the more unique programs we have for MWR here at Camp Humphreys are a remote control race car track, miniature golf, the Splish and Splash Family Water Park, as well as paintball. In addition to our regular programs, we have a fantastic variety of special events here at Camp Humphreys. We've got Spring Fest in May, which is our cross-cultural community event. It blends both the Korean and the American cultures. We've got Oktoberfest, a 4th of July celebration and fireworks, and a large array of special events. We also have a large assortment of MWR restaurants and eateries here at Camp Humphreys. We've got Le Cat Cafe, a casual dining lunchtime bistro. We also have Alaska Mining Company, which is our full-service American-style restaurant serving both a lunch buffet, lunch a la carte, and dinner options, as well as the Flightline Bar and Grill, which serves lunch during the day and also has options for nighttime entertainment and dining. Our Community Activity Center is a popular gathering place. Where those living here will find billiards, an arts and crafts center, soundproof music booths where soldiers and family members can practice their musical skills, a game room, public access computers, and theater and performing arts activities. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Camp Humphreys. I think you'll agree that this is a great place to live, work, and play. Korea is home to great food, shopping, and some of the most interesting cultural events and activities found anywhere in the world. Isn't it about time you consider making it your home too? You can learn more about living and working in Korea by visiting us online at facebook.com slash usaghumphreys or our online welcome guide at pinterest.com slash usaghumphreys. From Camp Humphreys, South Korea and the land of the morning calm, this is Captain Kai Felbaum.